Right, let's now give you an in-depth uh, coverage of that story. Our first story, we gave you the statistics. Police now saying they've arrested three suspects in Limuru, Nairobi and Machakos. On suspicion of being the source of the killer bruise whose death toll has now reached 87. Naivasha has also joined the list with one person dead. And as Edith Kimani now reports, it is just under 72 hours since the first death was reported. Three people are now headed to the police cells over these deaths. The search for those responsible for brewing and distributing a brand of illicit brew that has claimed more than 80 lives has been intense. But after 72 hours, police claimed they had the first three suspects. So I guess that's the reason why you came to investigate these premises. It is here, at a warehouse in Embakasi, that police made one of three arrests. One suspect was arrested in Limuru, one in Machakos, and the third, the manager of this warehouse. I was arrested a suspect of uh, uh, having, um, I mean, uh, brewing this illicit brews. So he was uh, arrested so that the, 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 the alcohol could be analyzed by the government chemists. Problem is, investigators could not find even a drop of the said brew. Reports then emerged that the brewing was done in this house, but that too proved to be a dead end. The suspect has since been released on a cash bail, but police say there is hope yet. At the end of the third day of unrelenting deaths, police now have a clue where the deadly liquor could have come from. Around here we don't have at least dens here. Uh, that is in, an, uh, in an, uh, our knowledge. What we know is uh, this uh, alcohol was imported from uh, Ruhai. The matter, however, still remains classified as under investigation, with only sparse details emerging. Police boss David Kimayo was reportedly holed up in meetings all day with the director of criminal investigations, Degwa Muhoro, together with their deputies in efforts to get to the bottom of the situation. Government Chief Pathologist Dr. Johansen Odor is expected to make his way to Embu on Friday to help conduct post-mortems in an effort to find more clues. At the moment, however, little is yet known with questions of who, where and how remaining crucial and unanswered. Edith Kimani, KTN.